Hi, I'm Melpamine, and this is Melpamine Tuesday. So today I'm going to look at a thread that says what we want from Zelda HD. And in this thread, they kind of want some stuff that I don't think is going to happen. Ganondorf with more personality. Fair enough, that could happen. It would be a lot more interesting to see more from him. A huge Hyrule as in Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess didn't have that big of a Hyrule, actually. It didn't feel any bigger than... I suppose it was big, but it was broken down into parts with nothing in it. Which made it seem bigger than what it probably is. But yeah, a big Hyrule is something I would enjoy, actually. Midna. Midna's not coming back. Graphics like Twilight Princess. It's probably where they'll go. It won't be the exact same thing. Hopefully there'll be some colour in it. More side quests. It's always a good thing. I'm a big fan of side quests, if you don't know. I'm always for side quests. A good story and a second quest. Okay, a second quest... I mean, it's kind of the same as playing through just again. But with something extra, it's fun, but... I mean, a good story, that's essential. But they've all really had kind of good stories. Because it's Zelda. I mean, that's why we keep playing it, because it's good, right? Optional items. You know, I... That goes in with the side quests. You can do extra side quests for extra things. But not need them to finish the game. Which would be fun. It'd be something extra to do while you're wandering around Hyrule. Link finally stopped ignoring the girls that is totally in love with him. Really? You want Link to be a player? Really? No, I just... He's meant to be the hero of time, not Leisure Suit Larry. Just saying. Gorons, Zora, and Epona. Yes, I like those, especially Zoras. They're my favourite race. Best ever, in my opinion. Epona, yeah. I mean, if it's a big field, then... And say Epona's going to come back, just for the pure fact that... People like her, she's a great horse. It's quick to get around in without having to fast travel. And more optional dungeons. I can agree with that. I mean, it goes along with the side quests. I mean, there's got to be places for the side quests to go. But, there shouldn't be that too many. You can't, I don't think they'd be able to fit in that many optional dungeons in the Hyrule. Unless they made it a bigger Hyrule. I mean, they could have fitted in Twilight Princess, but they just left it empty. A huge town like Kakariko Village where there are 30 to 50 side quests. Now that's getting a bit too much. Now I'm all for side quests, as you know, but that's where that's where um, Zelda starts to turn into a Skyrim game. As much as I love Skyrim, I don't think that's the way to go for a Zelda game. Just because 30 to 50 is just a bit much, especially in the one town. That's just too much in my opinion. A master mode that makes the enemies deal more damage, puzzles are harder, and there are too many bosses per dungeon. Yes, I wouldn't mind that, but I'd still play on the easy level, because I always play on easy no matter what game I pick. Because I'm a wimp. 
and then someone else says, and a scene where Link gets shirtless, but without having to see a horrifying, obese old man shirtless as well. Really? I mean, isn't he meant to be like 15 or 16? That just feels a little, a little weird to me. I mean, if the teenagers like it, then fair enough, but I'm too old to be looking at that. A more challenging and longer version of the Savage Labyrinth, like in Moon Waker. I enjoy that. I liked going there in Moon Waker. That's where I got all my rupees from, really. And it was just fun to kill all those things. The more killing, the better. So, uh, yeah. That would be pretty awesome. Especially if there's like some optional reward or something, that like something awesome, not just a hard piece, because you need a good reward for something like that. I think. I mean, hard piece, hard piece is great and all, but it gets kind of boring when I do this huge, savage labyrinth, and that's all I get. Something else would be nice. Expand on features introduced in Skyward Sword, such as the stamina meter shield gauge, item upgrading, and treasures. While I still haven't finished Skyward Sword, those are pretty good at keeping item upgrading, that's awesome. Stamina, I'd prefer just to run without the stamina or anything, but can't really change that, I guess. Bring back fishing. I didn't really like fishing. I didn't do fishing. I only went in there, I think, once or twice to get the bottle and maybe the hard piece in Twilight Princess. I think in Ocarina of Time I did do more fishing, but I guess it's fun, yeah. I wouldn't care if they put that in. Some leveling system for both Link as well as his items. I don't think they should do that. I mean, the way Zelda works is you get new items to defeat stuff. You don't level them up. So I prefer to keep it that way. But I wouldn't really care if they did. I mean, I'm, I'm easy pleased. Bring back Majora's Mask's bank. I hate the bank. The bank's the most stupid thing I've ever heard of. It's only because you have to lose all your items. That's the only reason they had the bank. So I don't... Why would I want to put my money in the bank just to go get it back later? When I could just have it in my wallet? I suppose... It could be useful when you have too many rupees. Okay, I take it back. It's not that stupid. You've proved me wrong. And as for things I'd like to see, I'd probably just want more side quests. A bigger Hyrule, but not too big. Because, as we see in Twilight Princess, a bigger, a bigger, a bigger area doesn't mean that there's going to be more things in it. I would like it to be not as linear. Now, I haven't finished Skyward Sword, so I can't offer that, but in Twilight Princess, it cuts you off from going, like, certain places, and I don't like that. I like, I'd like to be able to go wherever I want from the start, even if it means running into certain dungeons that I can't go in yet. Being able to wander around and see everything that I want to see. Kind of like in Ocarina of Time, I could go down to Lake Hyrule at the start. I could go over to Kakariko, I wasn't stuck by these huge boulders or the bridge falling down. I didn't like that. I think, I wish they'd get rid of that. But, as I said, I can't talk for Skyward Sword yet. That's it for this week's Milk Me Tuesday. Sorry I didn't do one last week. I had car troubles when I was coming back from out of town. I couldn't do one. Um, this week, I'd like to know what you'd he like to hear me talk about, so leave any suggestions in the comments below. 
I would really like some ideas for what you want to hear because I just pick stuff to talk about and I'd like to t pick stuff that you'd like to hear about so leave those in the comments below please and I'll see you next week. Bye.